All right, hey guys, so just did our first little drift here. Um, yeah, it's just kind of our uh, prospect drift, I guess, and finally got something here, so. Yeah, it's not real huge or anything, but probably about 350 pounds. It's a nice looking fish. Yeah. So we'll get these guys thrown down and get reset and see if we can't find some more. Yep. Oh, nice. Nice string. About this one here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you swam right, swam right in. Swam, swam. Swam, nice. swam. <clears throat> this one counts as mine. One head in netting. Yeah, there's some beauties there. Yeah, that was a good one. Octopus, what's he doing in there? That punk. Hanging on a weight again. I thought that that looked like codfish down there. <laughs> yeah. It was a little off bottom though, huh? No. That might have just been some feed right there. Oh, yeah. But I did see the other stuff on bottom. And it's like, that sure looks like cod. Yeah, they're coming on fast. Hot and heavy. Nice big cod. So we're gonna fillet up this nice cod and take it home and whip up a nice batch of tacos. Yeah. So be simple. Just follow the backbone right here. Those are some nice thick fillets on this cod. He's a nice plump one. So these guys got a lot of, a lot of belly on them. So there's not really that much meat right in this area. But we'll just do our best to get along the rib bones there. And then once you hit the skin like that, that's all you're gonna get. Beautiful. So we'll just uh, get this guy trimmed up, skin him. So you usually end up with some bones right here. So like a normal cut for these is you just come in here and you'll trim that out. So it's pretty simple. You just want a, a flat board. Just put a little cut on the tail, get underneath the, the meat, and then you can just hold it. Just gently cut right along the skin. Just a little bit of an angle, not too much to your knife, but just enough to keep a little bit of downward pressure on the skin. And you can just kind of rock it side to side a little bit. Off it comes, and you got a nice, beautiful skinless fillet.
just take this home and we'll just trim it up and we'll be ready to go. Make some nice tacos. Yeah. Can't wait. Yeah. Sounds delicious. Nice. That's that. Okay guys, so that's a couple pounds of nice fillets. And we'll meet you back at the house and start cooking up some tacos. See you then. Hi guys, welcome back to EIS Alaska. Yeah, hi everyone. On today's Catch, Clean, and Cook, we're going to be whipping up a batch of nice fish tacos. We got some beautiful cod that we caught on our last trip out. So we're going to start with about a pound and a half of cod. Um, half teaspoon of cumin. Half teaspoon of cayenne pepper. A little bit of salt. And a dash of pepper. We'll just give these a quick mix. And then we're just gonna sprinkle this on both sides of the fish. I'm gonna lay it out on a, on a little tin foil tray. And just put a little drizzle of olive oil on here. Keep it from sticking. So the key to this, like any kind of fish really, is that you don't wanna overcook it, so. We're just, like I say, doing it on the barbecue. And I've got a couple of loins here. Um, I just split these fillets in half, so the loins are a little bit thicker, so I'm going to do them together. And then the tail portion of the fillet, I'm going to do in a separate um, tray, I guess. And that way they cook up more evenly and I don't overcook them. So we're just going to sprinkle this on both sides. Mmm, that smells good already. Yeah, it does. I don't know why this doesn't sprinkle out very well. Okay, and that's ready to go. I'll probably just cover this with a little bit of tin foil so it doesn't lose too much moisture. Cod will sweat out a lot, but if you're using uh, rockfish or halibut, those aren't going to lose as much moisture, so you really want to keep that in there or you're going to dry that fish out and it won't be very good. So I'm just going to kind of pinch this closed. I'm going to put a piece of tin foil over this and wrap it up and throw it on the grill. Let me just fire up the grill here. Now that's Alaskan style, firing up a barbecue like that. <laughs> Yeah, don't use lighter fluid. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay guys, so we're going to get started on the sauce. Um, there's a third cup of mayonnaise, a half a cup of sour cream, and we're going to add a teaspoon of honey, and also a teaspoon of sriracha. You can add a little more if you want it to be stronger. And did we have garlic powder out here, hun? Uh, no. We put it in here. Just want a little shake in there. Yeah, it says a teaspoon. We just gonna spre uh, squeeze some lime in there. Chop it in half and whisk that in. Yep. And then we stick it in the fridge for a little bit. Yeah, might as right. well. Yeah. And then we'll just start cutting some vegetables. So, um, just kind of whatever your traditional choice is for taco toppings. Uh, we're gonna have some avocado, some red cabbage, red onion, 
and cojito cheese. And tomatoes. Yep. So we get started with some cabbage, I guess. Yep. Just and gonna kinda chop it rough, shred it, I guess. Yeah. We actually used there. quite a bit of cabbage, huh? Yeah. So for uh for like a pound and a half of fish, this makes like twenty tacos, so it makes a lot. That is a lot. Yeah. So I got some red onion here. So I'm just gonna, gonna slice it in half. And what else do we got? Some Roma. Yep. So this cojita cheese is really good. It's kind of like a feta, but it's not as salty. Yeah, you can crumble this, you can grate it, you can just slice it. It's kind of crumbly, it's pretty dry cheese, so. Just slicing it up works fine. And that's really about it, I guess. Um, avocado. Avocado, probably just slice that avocado up a little bit. Yep. And other than that, um, just let our fish finish cooking and warm our tortillas on the grill. It was ready yeah. to eat. I'm about starving. Me too. Yeah, so we'll just chop up this avocado and uh, I guess we'll bring you guys back when the fish is done. Yeah. Probably be, might take a little bit longer on the grill and check it after about 15 minutes or something. It's always easy to cook fish a little bit more, but all of it is kind of dry in the first place. So it's really easy to dry out fast. So if you look around guys, it's after 9 p.m. We're still in the light up here pretty late. Yeah. It was a beautiful day in Kodiak. I think sunset is 11.30 now at night, so. Okay guys, let's take a quick look at this fish. So, these are the tail sections here. I put them on last, but it looks like they're pretty close. You can see they're kind of boiling away here. Cooking quite nicely. So yeah, the trick to fish is that you don't want it to be overcooked. When it starts to fall apart like that, it's getting real close. What you kind of want is just a nice white flaky fish. And that's perfect right there. That's done to perfection. So this is ready to eat. I'm just going to pull it off to the side here. So it stops cooking. And we'll throw a couple of tortillas on here and warm them up and it'll be time for dinner. So this is a great meal to cook. It's pretty fast. It probably takes about 20 minutes to prep. While the fish is cooking, you can cut all your vegetables and everything else and get them ready. So it's a nice fast meal. It's really filling. It goes a long ways. Great for leftovers too. So let's grab this fish off the grill before it gets overdone. I'm just gonna put it in a little serving bowl here. Yeah, so these are just done perfectly. You can see when it starts to, to flake away like that. Perfect. Be nice and moist. All right guys, so there it is. Some beautiful cod, all ready to go. Let's break it up a little bit. Build your taco the way you want. Nice just, big chunks. Yeah, beautiful looking fish, so. Add some veggies. Some cabbage. A little cheese. Let's crumble it on there. Onion, if you want onion. And some tomato. And the special sauce. Easy to cook.
Okay guys, so there you have it. Delicious fish tacos, great meal for the family. Hope you enjoy and thank you for joining us guys. Yeah, thanks. We'll see you again soon. See you next time. Bye.